In front of a big television screen, I stand here with Lucia Nimkova. Um, there seem to be people doing exercises. What is this uh, movie about? Basically, whole installation is from Project Unofficial, which is part of my trilogy. And it was trying, I was trying to show uh, life during the communism and transformation now in three from three different views. And it's official life, private life, and double coding, which is for me uh, hidden band Slovak films. And this is only part from an unofficial project. It was filmed in Humenne, in a small town close to Ukrainian border, in a triangle. You know, it's a uh, ending of Slovakia. There is Poland, Ukraine, Hungary, Slovakia. And basically border was changing all the time, depending on political situation. I wanted to show another side of their lives and it's kind of survival humor. So I was trying to find a way how to do it and uh, I tried different things and in the end I came out with the exercise because basically they were whole life manipulated, have to exercise as somebody told them to do in official life. And here they just do what they want. I ask them in their own timing, but you see how space itself influences the exercise and how they influence each other. In a way, when you look at it, uh, more, many times is not so funny as when you see it first time. So that's something I'm also trying to play. You know, it's uh, very difficult to explain what really happened. And that's why I also did Leftovers project, which is about Friday Left, because you really have three, at least many different views. In what sense do you see yourself as an artist coming from a former communistic country and now being in Western Europe? I mean, is it an issue for you? You know, I will be never be able to do this work if I wouldn't have a distance. So being in Amsterdam, it was very important for me. And basically seeing it from outside, you know, like uh, feeling being in a safe position, which basically Reich's Academy gave me for two years. So I could really spend one year just watching images very in, a, in all details, you know, all mimics, all gestures everything and then basically I went back and I photographed and documented what is happening now. What is coming to Eastern Europe is most the worst capitalism you can imagine. The worst product which could, could cannot be sell in Western Europe goes there and uh, basically people are poor, they can't travel so for them that's what they see, right? Like what is coming around them and the factory are closing and of course they are opening new ones but usually close to the centers. For example, here when you see uh, milkmaids, you know, they are in a place where they used to work, but there is nothing there now. It, uh, it's damaged because many factories and many things after communism, it just fell down and it's usually at the peripheries. And then in double coding project, I'm saying that peripheries also been places for intellectuals because they couldn't say loudly what they wanted in the centers. So basically peripheries are very important, you know, in uh, Eastern Europe, uh, way of leaving, you know, and uh, it means for me responsible also how they would look at themselves when I show them this work, you know. So you represent them but also yourself in some way. You know, it's something like love and hate at the same time, which is always very difficult to describe because it's much more easy just to hate or just to love. <laughs>